Published 1845 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 24th of March 2019. Updated 1846 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 24th of March 2019. Alex McLeish pleaded with the Tartan Army to stick by his struggling Scotland team after Booz followed a labored 2-0 win over Minos San Marino. A traveling support of just under 3,000 foot soldiers expressed their unhappiness with the people running the national team by chanting, sack the board, and booing the team from the pitch at the interval and full time. It was uncomfortable listening for the watching SFA President Alan McRae and Vice President Rod Petrie, but McLeish insists his side are still in the hunt for automatic qualification for the Euro 2020 finals despite the dire 3-0 defeat in Kazakhstan on Thursday and another uninspired display on Sunday night. Alex McLeish has urged Scotland fans to keep the faith despite disappointing performance despite 22 attempts on goal. The Scots managed just six on target, failing to build on Norwich midfielder Kenny McLean's first international goal after four minutes until Johnny Russell broke his own Scotland duck with 16 minutes to play. Amidst SFA fears of an empty Hampton for the next qualifier against Cyprus on June 8, McLeish urged supporters, stick by the team. Stick by the Scottish national team, of course, the fans would have been looking for a few goals to build on the first one, it was that time between the first goal and scoring the second one when we missed a hat full of chances, we started really well, got an early goal, and we said to the lads, we had bored them before the game, that if you get a goal get the ball and look for another one as early as possible, then we got into a little rut, some stray passes, not like it from some of the excellent players we have. Johnny Russell struck as Scotland secured an unconvincing 2-0 victory against San Marino a bit of tiredness crept in resulting in the substitutions. The second goal settled everybody and we made four or five chances after that which we really should have taken. It was great to see the guys making chances, there is obviously scope there for the players who came on the trip as newcomers. Mark McNulty could have had a hat-trick with his three touches in front of goal, he was very unlucky, it was great to see someone get into those positions. We didn't do enough of that in Kazakhstan but we had the chances towards the end, the second goal settled them. But the guys at the back dealt with the nerves, with supporter focus turning to the SFA board who appointed the manager in the first place, McLeish admitted the anger contributed to unease on the pitch, that's football, he continued. I've heard it over the years since I became a professional, at different stages of my life, my career, that happens in football. You know sometimes the players get a bit nervous about that and that's why sometimes you don't see the free-flowing football we perhaps saw in November. Some Scotland fans booed McLeish following the 3-0 defeat to Kazakhstan over the two games we had a mountain of changes and it's never easy when you don't get momentum and a rhythm and a nucleus of betting down the team that you want on the pitch, against the top nations as well, I think they were frustrated that we never kicked on from the first goal. As I said, we did try to keep things going, as soon as the ball was in the net, go and grab it run to the center circle, keep the ball and keep the pressure on, when they did break against us the defensive marking was good. But you could see there were one or two nervy clearances, maybe clearing a ball when they could have made a pass. They are human beings, sometimes they get affected. But if they come through that it will make them stronger, admitting most of the simmering discontent stems from the wretched performance and display in Kazakhstan, Russia's easy 4-0 win in the Astana Arena rubbed salt into Scott's wounds. McLeish made six alterations to his team as he looked for a response against San Marino. The Russians probably watched our video and decided don't defend the way Scotland did, for the first two goals especially, said McLeish, that is what it is, we can't go backwards, we have to look forward, listen, it's been a difficult weekend for us. We knew 1-0 or 2-0 was not going to be looked at in any great light at all but it was important for us to win after the disappointment in Kazakhstan, everybody is hurting on that one. We never quite got the avalanche of goals everyone was looking for but there are reasons for that, there was a little bit of agitation when we didn't get the second goal the players got a little bit nervy. 
they are only human, McLeish made six changes to his team from Kazakhstan, resting experienced winger James Forrest until the final stage is when the Celtic winger emerged as a substitute and created the second goal for Russell. We made a lot of changes, explained McLeish, with fresh players coming in. James has played a lot of football. I explained to him he's an integral part of the team and the squad. I know he wanted to play, everyone wanted to play, but I said I was going to change the team regardless. There was nothing frightening about that.